Howdy folks, and welcome back to Book of Ears, where we catch them all and catch a bun. Got another Thirsty Thursday here this week, and this week features a beer from Zoda Brewing out of Waterboro, Maine. It is really? called, yeah, it's called Tweak. It is a coffee porter. Uh, kind of looks a, like twerk. Ah. Uh, it does actually. Do <laughs> R and the E cursive's not really that much yeah, different. No, and we're but not good at reading, so. A co worker picked up like four of these beers from Zoda Brewing because he knows that I do co uh, pokey beers. So he was just like, hey, I got some pokey beers sampling for you. So we made it. We've made it! We're famous! We made it. Guys, we have people buying us shit. And actually, so that kind of brings me to the next point. Sorry okay. to interrupt. Um, Today I'm drinking Downey Cider um, Pineapple. Which featured thousands and thousands of times. This is the pineapple. Okay. And it was given to me by our Downey rep at work named Colin. Ooh. So, solely to be featured on Pokey Beers. Nice. Because last time you gave me a four pack to drink and enjoy, but today I only got one. Nice. <laughs> and uh, for Pokemon cards, I have like a smorgasbord of things. So I have a Battle Style Blister. Only bought it because of the Mewtwo pin. You know, is that a Mew or, or a Mew? Mew? Sorry, Mew, because the old ones came with a Mew 2 pin. Battle Styles Blister. And then the new first partner pack with uh, Chess Pin, Froakie, and Fennekin. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And I've got the Galarian Ponyta. So jealous. That's not a Ponyta, that's a Rapidash. She can thank me for that box because I spotted it and I told her, listen, if you want it, you can buy it. Otherwise, I'm buying it. And she bought it. So, all right, let's what flip the bitch. Fit for the poor. All right, so again, this is a coffee porter uh, tweak from Zoda Brewing, and it sits at a casual 6.4%. Mm. So it's really, it's not too diesel. It's a little bit diesel for a, um, a porter, but I mean, most of the beers we feature on this channel are higher ABV. Oh yeah, look at that. That a color, a little bit of aggressive pour, which is fine. Dark. She's a dark, rich looking beer, faux show. Dark and rich, just the, how we like them. The bubbles are not very, um, the bubbles are like medium to largest size for like a darker beer. So that head's gonna go away. It's like two fingers, finger and a half. But yeah, decently frothy head. Uh, let's, frothy. yeah. Deep, rich, dark color, like almost black, literally yeah. almost black. I can't see through that. All right, flip the bitch for the sniff and sip. <sighs> sniff and sip. Okay, here we go. Soda, tweak, coffee porter. Thank you to That's my co worker. I was getting to that. I sense molasses. Maybe a tiny bit of chocolate, but not really that much. Coffee, I like. I don't really get coffee on the nose. It's supposed to be a coffee porter. You do? Or maybe I get, I don't know. Not maybe me. I, get I drink really more coffee bitter. than you, so I'm the authority. Not much coffee, but oh. anyways. I wasn't supposed to drink this yet. Tweak. Coffee porter, Zoda. Cheers. Thirsty Thursday. This smells like coffee. That is very smooth. That is a silky smooth porter. Normally for dark beers, the stouts are much more smooth from my experience, but this porter is silky smooth. Um, I get a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. Have you had that one before? The, no, I have not. The mo I've never had anything from Zoda, so this is like a virgin That's review. Nice. Um, the molasses definitely comes through, but this is, this is really good. It gets a 3.8 on untapped. That's about right. It's a solid beer. I mean, not many people have heard of Zoda when you when you think main beers. Zoda is like not at the top because it's Waterboro is not like a big town. So, mm. very good. Pleasantly surprised with that beer. All right, well, welcome to our video. We're just gonna chug our beers and tell you how good they are. How's your pineapple thing? It's delightful. First partner pack. This is the newest one. I believe we're at eight generations of Pokemon, so they should be coming out with eight of these big jumbo packs. This is the third one. 
So what region, these... what region is this? Dude, I wish I knew the region, but I do not. I believe this is Gen 5, which makes sense, right? Fennekin and Froki. Ooh, he's so cute. Froki, obviously, like, the best. Everyone loves Greninja, the final uh, evolution. What booster packs come in here, though? We got two of them. We got Sun and Moon Base and Battle Styles. So, like, the same frickin' packs of this, as the last one. Uh, which is alright, but whatever. I'm gonna rip this blister open just so I can get all the packs out of here. And open them at once. Here we go. I do not know if I've opened the, these blisters with the Aracuda, or is it... Is it Barracuda or Aracuda? Um, promo in it yet? But uh, there's a code card for you. There's the Aracuda and then the Mew coin. Bought it strictly, strictly because of the Mew. So, all right, let's see what fire we can pull this thirsty Thursday. Oh, CC. Something good. I got something really good on our live. Battle Styles has utterly ravaged me. Um, I've been a bit luckier. But CC has had much better luck in Battle Styles, including that rainbow pull that you had during rainbow our live. Food. Fighting Grumpig. Geo, please stop playing with trash. Spupa, Roly Coly, Chimeko, Onyx. Ooh. Sizzlipede, Glammeow, Capabulu. Ooh, 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 nice. Okay. I do have this one already, so that's a double, yeah. but yep, that's sweet. I haven't seen the Capabulu yet. Yeah, that is sweet. Nice. Battle Styles, Numero Dos. Can we beat something? Can we get something better than a Polo Rare? Hopefully. I cannot open Pokemon packs to save my GD life as of late. Um, I've just been ravaging the packs and just destroying them. So anyone that wants pack arts from these, this channel, number one, we won't give them to you. Number two, they're destroyed. Grumpig again. Girder. Cacnea. Ponyard. Nice Remember. push, by the way. Thank you. I hope that didn't show yep. up. Yep. No, nope, that definitely showed up on the video. And Licky Licky, non-hollow. I'm so sorry, guys. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is fine. You just ate dinner and now we're... Filming Pokemon, so burps are natural. There we go, just awesome. rip straight Fires down. Alright, last battle styles. Oh, they, there we go. Yeah. So it flipped Incons it around. Inconsistent. Inconsistency with battle styles. Do not appreciate it. All the YouTube personalities do not appreciate that Pokemon and company. We're big YouTube personalities. Yeah, you guys big. Have no Coming idea. in hot with four hundo. Yeah. <laughs> That's about what we're at on TikTok right now, too. Ooh, the reverse Embor, and we got the Santa Scorch. No. I always cringe when I see Santa Scorch because it just reminds me of Champion's Path. We got so All right, Santa Sun and Moon base. There we go, rip straight down the middle. It's a white card. Yay! Code card going out. We have one, two, three, four to the front, tap and flip. Let's get an ultra rare for it's Jason, Curdiar, Dartrix, Dewpiter, Marini, Stuffle, Tokumadaru, Olin Grimer, Lima. Come on, let's get a hit for Thirsty Thursday. Okay. Hollow Vicavolt. Vicavolt? What is that? Is that a basic? I, uh, I don't know. Uh, Cece, you need to bring up the rear here with your Galarian ponytail. Okay, so I'm pretty psyched to tear right. Not glued as much as some of the other packs we've gotten recently, which is nice. <sighs> I love Galarian Rapidash. Infinita. We got the ginormous card. So cute. Okay, so in here we have Battle Styles, Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze, and Crimson Invasion. So that's something. There's a card for you. Okay. So that's the regular card. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we'll start with Battle Style since she's a bitch. T-tar action. Got some new nails going on for you guys. You're welcome. Alright, so there's 
first code card. Three, four. If Jason likes to tap, I don't know, but we believe my ass is grass. Recycle that energy into girder. Tap, turn, a sprite. Sheiks, can you roll your R's? No, I can't. Flip bug, pony yard. I know, that's why I asked you. Spiro reverse. And Salazzle. Nothing doing on the first one. No, no, no dice. And Polion's been good to me, though. Yeah, Napoleon's a good dude. Just a high quality dude. Yeah, sorry, I don't mind my thumb. I wrote all over myself today at work. Alright, so code card right there. And one, two, three, and four. Ooh, it's electric. Feeling good about this one. Weeping Bell, a little drooling mofo. Perugly. Gligar. Squink. Bronzor, which I wish I was. Artrisu. I wish you were bronzor. I wish I was bronzer. I'm white as ah, you know what. Oh! <laughs> My second gold card from nice. Battle Styles. Let's freaking go. Back to back weeks of gold being pulled on uh, Thirsty Thursday. Is that when I pulled it? Yeah. I don't even remember. Oh, that's sick. Okay. No, I pulled gold last year. You Thursday. pulled, okay. You which pulled gold octillery on a live. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, Battle Styles has been good to me. Yeah, I don't know why you complain about this set. It's been it's treated you better than any other set that we've opened. Yeah. Oh, this one is not going to do it. Crimson Invasion. Here we go. Then, let's hope this is... Can I get an Amazing Rare in this one? I don't know. No. It's Valiant. Okay, so this is just basically a garbage pack. Grumpig. Swinoop. Swabu. Oh, that's kind of cute. Another Spoink, Chimcho, Jigglypuff, He's cute. Bunnelby, and oh, I actually need that one, Como. I have the first two of that evolution. I've been kind of searching uh -huh. for the last ones. That, that's a moral win for me, you know? All right, chance at Azard. Darkness, Darkness of Blaze. Two Charizards in this set. And we're going to get both of them right now? Not possible. Don't say it's impossible. It's not possible because they're both in the rare, ultra rare slot. So well, you have an error pack if you get two Charizards. Yeah, and I can't wait. And we'll uh, get millions of subscribers. And it would be so dark, and we would love it. Carnivine. Ooh, another Cave of Toughness. Watch out, Jason. Oh, these are some good cards for when I play you. Bunnelby. I don't like that art. Toxel. Sinistee. Carablast. Redent. And, woo, okay, a right period V. So that's pretty good. So. Okay, that was a good opening. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's recap the hits here because uh, Cece actually got some decent hits. I did not, which is fine. Uh, probably the best cards that I got were the reverse and the normal <laughs> hollow Embor. Mm, yeah. Hollow rare, coming in hot. But you hold gold again. I love gold in this household. Gold and... And then I got, a, I got this V card. My Carrier V. Perfect. And then the, the promo wrap. Solid. Pretty exciting. So don't ever complain about battle styles. I hear you complain every single time you pick up a pack, and it's been better than Shining Fates, Vivid Voltage, any yeah, other any other good. pack that you've like picked up. Battle styles is better. Yeah. And Zoda Tweak Coffee Porter. I was pleasantly surprised better. because I, I don't really know that much about Zoda. I haven't heard that much about them. Waterboro is not like a big town, so it doesn't have a ton of breweries in, in it. In the middle of nowhere. But 3.8 on untapped, I will not, I'm gonna give it a 3.75, so I won't harm it too much. This is a good beer. Very pleasantly surprised with the coffee porter tweak. I'm gonna give this a 4.8. Solidly smooth. Three. Drinkable, slightly, just like the perfect amount of sweet. It's good. Very good beer. Like all the things, we're on TikTok at PokeBeerOfficial and Instagram at PokeBeerOfficial. We're super active on that platform. And if you like to do live rookie chips, purchase packs, kind of like Pokey Rev. But anyways, we appreciate all of you for watching this and for making it all the way to the end. And thank you. And we will catch you on the next one.